Hello, and as we go further into Advent and get ever closer to Christmas, we think more and more about how we're preparing. And for our children's activities, we are looking at making some things that we can give away this Christmas to share and um, be hospitable among our friends or family. So, today we're going to make a whiteboard. Mm, whiteboard. We're going to food theme our whiteboard so that it fits in with our hospitality theme. So, step one, Richard. Okay, step one, step one, here we go. Unclip the back of the frame, draw around the edge of the clear plastic on your chosen paper, cut out the paper. So you've got some different colours of paper in your craft pack. So you can choose what background you would like for your whiteboard. We've only got one take at this because we've only got one whiteboard. We've only got <coughs> one frame. So our first job is to take the clip back off your frame. And then you've got a couple of bits here. You've got a clear piece of plastic and a board which you need to keep and this piece of paper which we can just lose. So I've got my clear piece and I've got my paper. So I'm just gonna put my clear piece on the edge and draw round. So this way our background won't be brown board, but it will be coloured paper. <coughs> okay, some sort of yellow background is it going to be? Well, I've chosen, I, you can choose yellow or pink or blue. I've made a blue one already. I'm going to make a yellow one and show you the kind of things you can do. So, one of the ideas I had is we have a little whiteboard on our fridge and we use our little whiteboard to um, act as a little shopping list, so things that we want to get from the shops as we find out we need them. Or like things like Jaffa cakes, that sort of thing. Things like, yeah, really important foods that we can't live without, just like Jaffa cakes. We put them on our whiteboard. So I'm writing in bubble writing, but you can write however you would like. And I'm just going to write shopping list. Now, if I had a bit more time, I would colour this in and make it all look fancy. I can show you how I would do that in just a minute. So I'm going to write my list. Like flashy bubble writing, Miss Chrissy. I like my bubble writing. I guess you could always sort of, you know, make your own writing up so it doesn't look quite so flash. Sort of thing. You could make your own writing up. If you want to do bubble writing and you're not sure how, if you write in normal writing, here I'll get a piece of paper and show you. and then go round the edge. Now, if you've done this in pencil, you can then rub that line in the middle out and there's your bubble writing S. That's very good. Okay, so anyway, I'm just going to put some lines onto my shopping list. So this is one idea. You could create a shopping list. Now remember, I've probably not left quite enough on my S to leave a little bit of a gap around the edge. That's for the frame. That's for the frame. Now here is one that I made oh, earlier. So I'm going to put this one into my frame. And this was actually step two. So, so a bit carried away. we got a bit carried away. Step two is decorate your paper. So here's two different ways you could have decorated your paper. Step three, Richard. Okay, peel the plastic off the clear bit of the frame, put the clear plastic you decorated, the paper and the back piece and clip all together. You now are ready to write your message. So, so here we go. This can be a little bit this. fiddly to Oops, start with. To oh, when okay. you get the corner, and you see you can pull this. And there's, two, there's two sides of that. There's two sides of that to come off. Okay. Just so that the frame didn't get scratched when it was in the shop. So it's like, yeah, you should get rid of all the black writing. Basically. So I'm going to put my clear frame and my clear thing into my frame. So that just pops in. Here, that then just then pops in, and then put my menu there, and then this bit. And give it this way. I reckon you should take your time with that bit because that's the sort of thing I'd have tape all over the place and stick it all over. There. And then this just clips in. It's much easier to get in than it was to get out and you can open this up and this becomes a stand. Oh, very nice. 
and there we go here is our whiteboard so you can write on your whiteboard so here's my breakfast you should have in your craft kit a whiteboard pen so i might have porridge for my breakfast bacon sandwiches for my lunch bacon bacon for lunch just for richard hey. bacon for dinner and the next day when i want to have some different food when the vegans come round, i definitely didn't have no meat all right you can wipe it off with the little cloth i've provided you but you've got your menu stand to give away as a christmas present this year oh, great